Welcome back to some more Hikikomori. In the last episode, we got our ass handed to us by Perfect Heart, and I realized afterwards that if I am to beat her, it requires my absolute attention. So I did it off screen. It took like two hours. I beat her on my fifth try without any guides or any cheats or anything like that. So I'm very proud of myself for actually sticking to it and beating her. But However, I did not record my reaction or the game's audio. So as you could probably see, I'm going to clip it in in the beginning of the episode. Nothing too special happened. She just admitted defeat and now she's standing here. She's called Imperfect Heart. And she says, Hmm, congratulations, you win. I suppose this means that I am no longer perfect. Such a shame, really. And that's it. You know, I guess the reward itself is the victory. And not much any. Of <laughs> and nothing else. And I, I'm fine with that, you know. It was very difficult. It was the, this game's super boss. Absolute hardest boss in the game. So I guess that's fine. But uh, she's still called Sweetheart. So I, I was hoping to get some new content with that. Maybe she could go back to get her uh, self-esteem or something. But no, that's it. But I, I am happy, as I said, I am happy that uh, I managed to beat it. And it would just result in very boring commentary, as you probably saw in the last episode near the end of my three tries. Yeah, I don't know. But hey, we beat it, and uh, the strategy, I guess I can go into that at least. So, I went ahead and um, equipped the cough mask to Omori. Aubrey has the flower crown in order to get more health. But that was a mistake, and I will tell you why. It appears that Perfect Heart uh, Battle Phase 2, when it gets really ridiculously difficult, is more of a percentage-based battle. So having more health is actually detrimental. So Aubrey took like 400 damage each turn, while the others did not. So having more health just makes the battle more difficult. And that made me wonder, what if you equip like the contract, so you have under 100 HP. Th that would be interesting. Do you still die in one hit? Or is there like some mix between fixed damage and then plus percentage? I don't know. But um, having more health did not help at all. And uh, I never resorted to <laughs> the last resort attack, so there was no point. Instead, I went for defense, um, equipping Cactus Hair Clip to Kel, get more defense, and also Hero, he has the chef's hat to get more defense and restore juice and that's like 13 juice each uh, turn so that's pretty good but once again i don't think defense or hp matters since it is percentage based but my strategy was um, to spamming the whole chicken all the time while omori uses red hands aubrey like uses rain cloud or something or heals uh, restores juice so it's just red hands and uh, the rest of them supports with healing. And at that point it was really kind of boring in a sense for a super boss. It just attack, heal three times, attack, heal three times. But also I managed to use stare three times on perfect heart. So all of her stats were decreased a lot, which made it so all of us went before her. So we had four turns. And then Perfect Heart acted with her, you know, multi-hit. That makes everyone have a random emotion. And and that was a very interesting um, mechanic in the fight because I went, I made her happy first and I wanted us to be sad. So we, you know, take less damage and we do more damage. But since every turn she attacks everyone, we get a random emotion. And so sometimes, uh, you know, it's in our favor, but sometimes she does critical hits or, you know, um, what is it? Power move. No, uh, moving attack, you know. She does more damage. And so she kind of one hits us. And uh, I realized that if we just keep Perfect Heart in neutral emotion, she will never ever do more or less damage when we get our random emotions. And in that sense, I feel like the fight would have been a lot more interesting if her emotions changed as well when she did that attack. Or maybe like once in a while. Like most bosses changing emotions to spice it up. But no, she stays neutral the entire fight. 
And that made it very boring because we could just attack and heal three times and just repeat that with our 99 whole chickens. So I guess that's my criticism uh, for this game's super boss. Once you figure it out, the strategy, it's just, you know, you can set the memory cursor, you hold the A button and the fight will resolve itself. Anyway, uh, going into it blind, it was very damn difficult as you saw. So, I don't know, it could have been more interesting, but it was still a big challenge. And I beat it, as I said, on my fifth try, I believe, which is also the same amount of tries I had on Undertale's Super Boss. So, kind of funny that both of them took five tries. I believe it was five times at least. So, that was a perfect heart. Didn't get any rewards, nothing really happened, but we are happy and proud of ourselves as the gamers of Omori. And, as you can see, Mutant Heart is uh, still here. So that's nice. I didn't have to... Oh wait, did I... I never saved after defeating her, right? I remember I, I defeated her, and then we went to Perfect Heart, and we died, and then we pressed no on retrying. So the game hasn't counted us, you know, defeating Mutant Heart yet. Do I want to? In any case, I don't need to show it again, right? We, we have already seen that. I can do it off screen. You don't need to suffer <laughs> seeing her die again. But maybe, maybe if we beat Roboheart, which is our next objective, and Mutant Heart, maybe then something will happen. I sure hope so. But for now, we're gonna head to Roboheart, and I looked it up. She's at the end of the hard puzzle. I'm gonna head over there right away and, um, yeah, battle her. Now, the boring part is that automatically, since we beat Perfect Heart, who is the hardest boss in the game, Roboheart won't be much of a challenge. I don't expect uh, her or it to be much of a challenge at all. But hey, I still want to check it out. So let's see, the heart puzzle was... I don't remember, to be honest. Is it a... Uh, this one? The red one? Oh yeah, the worms. Okay, okay. Hopefully um, she's at the end. What was it now? Um, three was right, one was left. There she is! Okay, I think we're ready. <laughs> okay, I, I have uh, an idea how to beat this. And there's a Humphrey with the solar thing. So if you want me to read that, uh, no thanks. Watch out, everyone. It's that robot. She's a killing machine. Stay away from us, robot. We have to stop it before it kills somebody. You're going down, killer robot. Okay, here we go. Yes! It's that battle, I mean, the battle theme when we fall against the download window. Uh, Chaos Assembly, I think the name is of this track. So I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna use stare three times, and then we are going to be angry as fuck, all of us. And uh, Roboheart is going to be um, sad, so we do more damage. Hopefully she doesn't do anything dangerous now. I'm not gonna underestimate her too much. Just a little bit. So we're gonna use uh, stare three times to get uh, her defense down as much as possible get to enraged so we do more damage she whiffed okay torture book she's sad i don't think she can get more sad so we'll just keep on staring for now uh, air horn again why not uh, poetry book see if that works other than that i don't think there's anything we can do just mesmerize so my goal here is to see how much damage can we deal in one turn. She can't get sadder, okay. We just need to get her defense down. Omori is furious. Let's fucking do this! Doll attack, 23 damage, okay. Unless there's a gimmick to this battle, I'm not expecting anything. So, stare for the third time. Aubrey, my girl. Last resort, and then kill, tickle, so it's a guaranteed critical uh, attack. 
And uh, yeah, here you can do whatever you want. Here we go. I'm guessing around 6,000 damage, but it, I don't know. She's sad, so she has more defense, of course. But it should be a moving and uh, in the heart attack. So let's go, let's go. Do it, Aubrey! Bam! Oh, okay, okay. So plus the juice, it was still a lot of damage, but not enough. God damn it. Uh, second phase? No, she's already dead. Okay. That was it. Well, I, I guess I could say that we beat Roboheart in one attack. Like, one hit. Whew! That was a close one. Hey, Aubrey, aren't you toast? It's a good thing no one was hurt, or even worse, killed. So th that's it. Aubrey's back with one health. Yeah, maybe sad wasn't the best strategy. Getting more, you know, defense so we do damage to juice instead. I think it's a percentage thing. Because if we combine it, it was like 4,600. And since she is a robot, she probably has a lot of defense from the start, so... I didn't break my record, but um, at least we beat her, beat her in one hit. Ah, oh, finally! A room without a waterfall. This bright white light is perfect for my summer tan. You know, it's not that bright. We don't even have a shadow on us. But hey! Uh, yeah, we beat it. So... And we have the boss rush uh, thing to do as well. But I believe we're going to go back to black space for now. Or should we do mutant heart again? Just to see if something happens, if all three are defeated. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, who cares? You can just skip ahead if you don't want to see the mutant heart fight. And we'll... And I don't have the items uh, to change her emotion like she wants. That is a problem. Yeah, whatever. We'll just uh, wing it, or however you say. So we'll defeat Mutant Heart again, see if something happens, I really hope so. And then we're gonna spend the rest of this episode in black space, or extended black space. And then in the next episode we're gonna do the boss rush. So nothing new here? Nope. Congratulations! Yeah, sure. Okay. Imperfect Heart. Also, her music was pretty damn good. Especially at the beginning when it was super epic. It's, it's, it's a perfect way to introduce a super boss. Because you have to decide like three times, do you really want to do this? And then I spent like two hours in order to beat her. But yeah. Fight. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. You know? She's so cute. Eh, you know? Sad, please. <laughs> so cute. Okay, uh, we're just gonna flat out do damage right away. Or will we? I don't know. Moving attack is uh, pretty damn good though, but uh, fuck it. We'll just do a heck of a lot of damage instead. Beat down? Last resort? Tickle? And uh, Hero, you will go last, so you might as well resurrect Aubrey with uh, Dino Jam. We can't do that, you know, preemptively. But we can use uh, uh, jam packets preemptively, so we'll do that. Mm -mm -mm. Still a lot of damage, uh, even though it wasn't a um, moving attack. I still like the strategy though, having so much health with Aubrey and <laughs> critting that attack. She's sad. Hero feels sad. Okay, she, she doesn't punish us if we don't uh, change her emotion, right? Eh, wrong! Oh, never mind. Here we go. Oof! Good thing Omori can survive any attack. What? She attacks two times? Three times? Sad, please. <laughs> okay, wait, what? I'm gonna lose this mutant heart? Uh, okay. I don't want to make her sad, but I guess I'm forced to. Jam packets, and then uh, poetry book. Have it your way, mutant heart! Oops. She said- she accidentally said something mean. <laughs> okay. She feels sad. Eh, wrong! Wait, what? Didn't she say sad? Am I stupid? Wow! I beat perfect heart, but I lose to mutant heart? Angry, please! 
Wait, I, I am so ashamed. Either I'm not paying attention, or we all have to be sad that turn. Is that the case? Either way, let's do it again. You know, angry please. Yeah, do we have anything to make her angry with? I don't think we do. God damn it! Uh, can I really beat her now? Angry on all friends. I mean, she's going to kill three of us, right? <sighs> I don't know, man. This is uh, this is a doozy. We'll uh, try again with the same strat and see what happens. So let's sort tickle. And uh, jam packets. Hopefully, uh, Hero will survive. Here we go. Water time. And what much uh, health she has? Like 10,000 maybe? Accidentally said something mean or angry <laughs> and now she's gonna be like wrong <laughs> Ouch Okay, two attacks three fuck Sad please Okay, I guess we're screwed Because even if I use uh, jam packets now, she's gonna attack everyone again Or three of us at least Right Hero feels sad. Wrong. Oh ho. Wow. We need to stock up on items because I, I can't beat Mutant Heart again. Sad, please. And look at her health. I mean, should I just try to attack her and see what happens? Or would you just, just spam jam packets all the time? But uh, if Omori gets hit one more time, it's over. Is that enough? Blue. Okay, wow. <laughs> At least we beat her second try. Without uh, playing to her gimmick. So I guess that's one type of challenge. You know? Tools for research. Okay, first off, it's a tool. Not plural. Second, it hasn't even been used. So all three hearts are defeated, right? Yeah. Nothing changed. That is uh, quite a bummer. You know what would be really cool? If there's an update later on. Like, like a Sweetheart update, right? It, it continues with um, Sweetheart and Space Boyfriend or Ex-Husband. And they are a combined boss. Like, imagine fighting both of them at the same time. That would be pretty cool. Like the power of love or something. But they can't take it much further than, you know, ex-husband. So, yeah, maybe it's better to leave it as it is. Either way, we have beaten all of the bosses in this game now. Which is quite sad, you know, in terms of challenge. Except, of course, the um, boss rush, which we will look at in the next episode. So we shall see how how difficult that is, but I don't imagine it being terribly difficult. I also read on the Omori Discord because I typed about uh, beating Perfect Heart there and you know strategies that people had afterward and after I beat it. And the people said that Boss Rush has a mod that that uh, you know some fan has done that's insanely difficult. But that is what it is, right? It's a mod, so it's not part of the original game. And that's what I'm gonna do first. Before we do that in, in yeah, modded difficulty, if I even want to. I, I want the, the game itself to offer the challenges. So this is what I am a bit afraid of when I, when I talked about closure before. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this series. Um. I know exactly how to end it. Once we're done with Tiki Komori route, we've done all the content, all the bosses, all of you know everything we can do that's of interest. 
I will go ahead and load my good ending playthrough and say no to, you know, continue. And we will get the bad ending, which I explain later. So that's how we're gonna end this series once and for all. Unless there is an update later down the road. Hopefully there is. I wouldn't mind. But I really, I don't want this to end. I don't want to go to the end. But at the same time, uh, I also want to move on to other games and make commentary over that. I've had multiple commentary series going on at the same time, you know, before. And it never really went that well. I want to, you know, finish what I start. Do one series at a time. And of course you can get uh, impulsive or... Uh, what is it? Impatient. Like, yeah, I want to start a new series. And th there was a time when I started like four series at the same time. And, and never really committed to anything. And of course most of those series never got finished. And uh, I don't want that to happen again. It, it is uh, disrespectful to the game. And just overall, like, if someone watches... For example, my, uh, let's see, Secret of Evermore Let's Play that I did a few, I mean, many years back. And then it just ends after 15 parts or whatever it is. And it's like, okay. Like, I, I feel bad for those viewers who, who actually sit down and watch it from the beginning and they don't know that it is cancelled. And they co come to part 15, only half of the game has been played. And then, boom, it's over. It's like, okay. And even if I do return... It's like, it's many, many years later. I may not have had the save file anymore. It's gonna be different. It just comes out of nowhere. And for the new subscribers of this channel, it's like, okay, here's part 16 <laughs> randomly. What the fuck is going on? So, <laughs> bottom line, canceling a series is not good. I want to finish. All right. We last checked out this door. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue clockwise, right? Save here. And it would be this door. I have a feeling we're gonna spend a couple of episodes in this place. Come and see again, okay. Or maybe... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> the last part wasn't distorted. Okay, maybe I should have read that, but I, w I wasn't... I was not prepared for it. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to talk about something. Okay, so the longest episode so far in this uh, series was Black Space. Um, whoa, that scared me. Holy shit. I don't know, I just... <sighs> I was not expecting it. It just came out of nowhere. Holy shit, that was fast. Oh, whoa. It's Mary. What if we stop her? I'm gonna stand here? Okay, I'm gonna stand here and uh, spam the A button and we'll see what happens. I am scared! Oh, no, I skipped it! Okay, I I'm not... Shit, we have to time this really well. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hi, Amori! Wow, <laughs> can you just imagine that in real life? <laughs> Running so far. Hi, Mori! <laughs> okay, nice. It's still scary though, I, I don't like it. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's Kel. It's so hard to see, man. I think it's Kel. Either way, my point, my point is that the longest episode was Black Space the first time. Two hours and 34 minutes, if I remember correctly. Maybe we're gonna make a marathon. The, f the first three hour... Omori report. Just black space. We found Kel. Ugh. Pocket. Uh, snacks. Tofu. No. Trash. Oh yeah, all of our inventory is gone. So I think I'm gonna do that. Like maybe the next episode. No, the next episode is gonna be boss rush, and then maybe one door, as long as we go to around one hour. Oh look. First time we've seen anything from the school. And then the, you know, next part of the that can probably be... Uh, 
black space extended uh, extended black space marathon three hours <laughs> if I can manage that because I'm, I'm already getting exhausted black space ain't easy dude oh hello although I do love it I, I think black space is definitely my favorite part in the entire game Unless you count the good ending of Mori boss fight. I mean, that was just extremely well done and effective in terms of story and boss fight and music. Holy fuck, that was so good. And then having the duet song afterwards where I cried sobbingly. Congratulations, you won. It's following me? I'm being chased by a speech bubble? You see, this is what I mean, this is what I mean. So other than that, you know, that entire point uh, in the story... Oops. What? I don't like this. Dude! What? No! Ah! Oh. You see, it's just an onslaught of... of imagery and... and horror and... Like, what the fuck is going on, dude? I'm serious, this is... Here lies Rochelle. Death by caffeine at age 23. Holy shit, I need to... And I have a cup of coffee right here. You hear? Uh, water. I'm kidding. I drink like one or one and a half cup each day. This song is uh, by that guy we paid. Uh, the musician outside other marts, but slow... Uh, here lies Andrew Vance, a.k.a. Sleep... Sleepy... Kuya? No, Vance, the town drunk, died fighting actual mole. <laughs> died 1901. I, I, I am, am I'm lost right now, and that's of course very effective of black space, but I'm lost. How did I get here? I climbed up a ladder? And, and then what? We, we were in completely black space. We saw a grave, and then we were teleported to somewhere else. We went up, and now we're here. It's like... I, I don't follow, and that's what I love about Black Space. It's just a complete trip. Here lies Ocean's Dream, died as he lived, covered in cheese. <laughs> Here lies Melon Kit, accidentally walked into a rake. Wh what? Omo Cat. Okay, the the guy who made the game, or the guys, or the company, or just I think it's his alias. So yeah, Omo Cat. It is only when we die that we truly begin to live. Huh. That's an interesting way to look at it. Here lies EMS. Food offerings required. I, I do have food. Aww. So is this like some twisted fantasy or dream about all of his friends or people he... Sunny has met? Like, how their gravestones would be. Imagine everybody being dead. Here lies Rai. Died in a fight, but you should see the other guy. <laughs> Is that a reference to Age of Empires 2? I don't know. Minced. Wil wilted from lack of water. I see, that's not me. I'm drinking water all the fucking time. Whitney White, aka Yin. The demon got its revenge. Frowny face. <laughs> Is that the first time we've seen a frowny face in the in the, in the text box? Here lies uh, Ivy. Poignant, yet ever so fleeting. Truly, this was the effer effervescence, efferven vescence, effervescence, vescence. I've never seen that word before of life, huh? Here lies... Oh, yeah. We'll read this. Here lies Pedro. Destroyed. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here lies Batino. No buried treasure here. Nope. Here lies a blue moon. Everyone's favorite senpai. So long. Feudo? Wait, blue moon? Is that like the... Um, uh, what was it called? No. Janitor guy? No? Who's called Pluto in Headspace? But this other name was Feudo? Huh. TDS. You have to be realistic about these things. Here lies Kim Vance. Oh, wait. 
No? Death by involvement in an illegal avocado smuggling accident. Illegal avocado, okay. <laughs> Here lies Rachia. Uh, Archia. Archia. Shia. <laughs> Died swimming with the fishes. That's sad. Here lies Catchy. Do not open until 20xx. Here lies Mogiri? Mogiri? It's dark in here, but I kind of like it. Here lies Kairu. Life jam had no effect. They actually tried that in real life. <laughs> life jam. I wonder if that was a product in the real world. I don't remember. Or it's just, yeah, something. Here lies Pride Kun. Still hasn't found her pen. Uh, why did the music stop as soon as we were done with all the gravestones? Okay, never mind. It just repeats. Are we done here? Yeah, I think we are. Um, I would like to go back somewhere so I can figure out where I am. How do I even get here? Shit! You know that uh, idea about extended black space marathon of three hours? Yep, I don't know. It's already getting tough. Like, I don't want to be here. I have to check every single door. Oh, we just follow, follow the footsteps. Ice cubes? Tofu? No? Okay, bathtub? Like, anything could be a doorway. Or teleport to some abstract... <sighs> huh. Now who the fuck Is that the, 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 the girl in the candy store? Aha! Okay. I I'm f fine with that. I just don't know what to make of it. Am I really gonna check every single door? I I guess I am. <laughs> this is black space for you. Okay, wow. They're really playing with your expectations. I mean, these jump scares, they are fine. Finally! But yeah, they're really playing with your expectations. Like, some of them has to be open, and then there's a jump scare. Do you want to continue? Because you just get scared. Yes, I do want to continue. And bam! You get what you deserve. You just have to suffer a cheap, a cheap jump scare first. Is this the... Yeah, I lost that um, sleepover song. Or it could be Friends. Or Friends. There are three tracks in the soundtrack. Uh. What?! Okay, you know, having something following me, that was kind of nice, because at least it represents Mary, and she says uh, that she loves us. But this? Yeah. Oh my god. A little bit too much. A cake! Do you want to eat it? No. And also being chased is one of my worst fears. And it's not really being chased, because it's not- It's blocking my- <laughs> It's just- It's uh, following me. It's not the same thing, I guess. As you chew, you begin to hear the crunching of bones. Nice. You chew a little slower, and realize your morals are missing. Molars, I mean- mor Morals, okay. How could you eat the cake all by yourself? Are we done here? I guess we are. What if we run away from it? It would be pretty creepy if you if you go far away enough. You know, it, it's gonna chase you very quickly. But no. It doesn't happen. So yeah, we, we're here. Having a good time.
<sighs> yep. Uh, that idea is slipping away more and more. Is it still here? Yep, it is. That's nice. More jump scares? I think not. Okay. Check out the rest of these doors and we'll see. I am pretty happy that um, this Hikikomori route series is longer than I expected. You know, cutting away... Ugh. Cutting away like 70% uh, of Headspace uh, adventure. Thought it was gonna be like, yeah, five parts. When we, we, we got the first ending in part... Four? No? Was it part four? Your catastrophes? And then like, okay, maybe there isn't much else. But hey, we're still going. We have almost checked all of them. It's a hop, skip and a jump. Yeah, I believe that's all of them, right? Yeah, we're done. This is where we... No? Okay. Now how do we... <laughs> oh, I thought it gets upside down. It's cute. Uh, this was nothing. It's this one that takes us to... No? Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. It's just back here. Okay, stab time. But I don't want to though. I want to continue the school thing. Oh my god. That was nice. Ready for another run. Also, I don't... I can't believe I didn't mention this. But hey, guess what? Today is Tuesday, May 18th, and on Thursday, May 20th, you know what happens then? I'm gonna have a fucking interview! A job interview! It's gonna be digital, but still. I got picked for a job interview as a recreation leader here in Engelholm, you know, South Sweden. So I am super excited, but... Oh, that, that's cool. Super excited, but also very, very nervous for multiple reasons, because I really, really want this job. And oh, nice, the school, fucking finally. There's a stuffed toy in the way, huh? Yeah, I, re I really want the job. And so I will be super sad if I don't get it, because the next chance might not appear until maybe next year or something like that. So, oh boy, <laughs> oh, this is way too much. So wish me luck, two days uh, interview, and we shall see how it goes. Wow, uh, more fantasies about Aubrey. I, you know, I, I'm okay with this. You accepted my love letter. That means we're going on a date, right? Yeah, you're not in my party, but uh, fine. Do you want some uh, tofu? No? Oh yeah, Aubrey Harem. I love you, Omori. Please go out with me. I'll follow you forever. <laughs> okay, dude. You said we hang out yesterday, so I'm borrowing you for the rest of this afternoon, okay? Oh wait, she had a little face, whatever it's called. <laughs> Did you wait long? It's rude to make a lady wait, you know? Come on, let's go. Omori, how are you even going to deal with these many Aubreys? I mean, I, I, I love Aubrey, she's the best girl in this game, but goddamn, even I have my limit. <sighs> That idiot Kel went and hid my stuffed toy again. You'll help me find him, right? Man, I have, I have a couple of theories. You're late, Omori. What took you so long? Omori, I... Wait a sec. Who are all those girls behind you? I'm on a date with Omori. No, I'm on a date with Omori. 
Well, we can't all date them, Mori. No way, she, is she gonna... Huh? What is it? Oh! <laughs> Toast, Aubrey! So, it's come to this. <sighs> what am I witnessing? Now I get no Aubrey! Is this like one of those mess messages, if you want everything, you'll end up with nothing? <sighs> you... You're pretty strong. You're not so bad. Yourself. But it's time for us to finish this. Epic Aubrey anime battle. Just give up. I'll never lose to you. They actually spend time doing this. Can, can we just get along? <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I can't fight anymore. I'm so tired. There's only one way we can settle this for real. Amori! Which one of us are you going to go out with? I mean, of course you have to go with the right Aubrey, right? <laughs> huh? But... Oh, this is super interesting. I, I was about to talk about this uh, b before all of those Aubreys followed us, but... So... What I can take from this... Is that while they were going to school, Sunny had a crush on Aubrey, and uh, Kel was being mean to her, bullying, and uh, hiding her stuffed toy. And so Sunny went ahead and helped Aubrey, um, you know, gave her the stuffed toy. And Aubrey, being as she is, she was super cheerful and thanked Sunny a lot and hugged him and being super cute and all that. And that affected him so much. That, you know, his... Uh, may maybe he got a crush on her after that. I don't know. Maybe before or after, doesn't matter. And so he started to fantasize. He wanted to maybe ask her out. Um, picturing himself in many different situations. But I don't think they ever did. I, I think this is just a um, what-if scenario for Sonny. That he never acted on because he didn't have the confidence. And so it just ends up being in his fantasies for the rest of time. And now in the real life, you know, in the good ending, those chances are more or less gone. Aubrey isn't the same anymore, she's a tomboy. And the, then the first impression of the, all that time was that Sunny cut her, being super weird. So I can't imagine it going back to that cutesy, innocent um, time. And so Sunny has given up on, given up on that, and instead just lives in that um, fantasy when they were younger. And she was more innocent than cute. It's, um, that's what I think it is. And of course he was seducing off in class and fa fantasizing about it. And like most boys, and I'm, I'm not afraid to say it, I, I, I am also one of those. Of course I have fantasies during my life where I'm fantasizing about girls I like or whatever, being surrounded by many girls and they're all fighting over me. I mean, who the fuck hasn't done that? Um, so... That makes sense to me. <laughs> it's sad though. And that makes me really interested in, in afterwards, in the good ending, when he confesses how Aubrey, the, the, you know, the new, current, real life Aubrey, is gonna take that, that he killed Mary, and then he's gonna move away. Ugh. Yeah, you know, yeah, Sonny's gonna move away. We're gonna drift apart. Maybe Aubrey is gonna, you know, date some of the other cooler guys. Whatever the case, I don't think it's gonna be a happy ending in that way. And at the same time, I wouldn't want to. Whoa, ho! I wouldn't want to have it in any other way. This game is a tragedy, and I don't want it to be, you know, too. What? <laughs> the fight? Donut girl, it's sweetheart donut. No. Swamp part. 
what? Sw swamp part. I sap here. Oh, I get it. Maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> UFOs. What am I doing here? I never went in. This is one of those things from the last door. Yeah, this one will probably not open up. Unless we're very determined. Yeah, it, it's... It's nothing. Alright, so... I guess I don't have much much else to say about that, but... Um, you know, the, the, the job interview, by the way. I can I can say how it uh, how it got to this point. So, I was looking for jobs as usual on the website in this um, hometown. Why is the frame pacing so bad? It's like lagging. It's, it's like very slow in a way. Hi, Amori. Okay, I don't know what what why the game is doing this, but it is lagging. It's like losing frames much more than usual. I have no idea why it's doing that. Hopefully, you're not too bothered by it. Oh! Okay. Yeah! Hey, it's Last Resort! Radio version. Cursed radio version. Are we gonna have random songs now? Oh! There's a red hand. Stop it! That's the most derpiest enemy I've ever seen. Uh, okay, we're gonna check out the door. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So I was looking at uh, available jobs and I found it. And I was super excited when I read the, the, the job description because it, it totally fits me. And they looked for someone who... What? Come on, dude! You saw something but decided it wasn't for you. What, 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 what do you mean? Someone else's fantasies? Uh, they wanted someone who has worked as a recreation leader, which I have, with uh, in that specific age as well. And then they needed someone who is very technical. And hello, you're looking at me, someone who knows about um, yeah all the technical stuff, multimedia and projectors, TV screens, consoles, computers, you name it, audio speakers, etc. And so instead of just uh, sending a normal application, I actually called the boss right away and talked to him in a very kind of ecstatic voice, like, dude, I'm the one you need. And he... <laughs> you are afraid. Is Sunny afraid of hair dryers? Hmm. Oh, that's a big steak! You ate the steak. What? No way! Ugh. No, not the violin! You're too full to run. Not the violin, dude, it's way too much! The fuck's going on? I'm trying to talk about my life here and just... Wait, I, I can still run. I can... but... but... I don't know what the... Come on, dude! And so, the boss was interested, he was like, yeah, that sounds good, dude, but we have many people calling in like this and uh, wanting the job, so you have to, you know, file out the application like everyone else, so it's official. And uh, I said, yeah, of course, and I did. So I sat down for like two hours and I wrote an... Uh, I wrote an application. I like the shape of this water. <sighs> And I was very confident in it, and uh, so this Monday, or Sunday, I believe it was, I got an um, email saying that, yeah, you, you're called in for an interview. And so I got to pick a time on Thursday, like from 8 to 14, or 2 p.m., whatever. And so I picked 11 a.m. for my interview. Hey, mirror time. Okay. A floating mirror. You are all alone. Do you want to play hide and seek? Again? This thing? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! 100 sunny! 
This is one of my favorite tracks in the game. And now it's slowed down and cursed and... Fucking frame pacing, it sucks! It's so laggy! You must be seeing this, right? I have no idea why it's doing this. Can I go in here? Am I hiding in here? Oh! I can't run. And I guess I'm too late. I'm gonna get crushed. I can stab myself if I want to escape. <gasps> We're so close! Oh, boo! Ah! Ew! No, I didn't want to. Fuck! Am I still hiding? Where, where's my 100 Sunny song? I'm going back in there. <laughs> okay, what if we get crushed then? Oh. Okay, let's get crushed. Oh, we can't. That's a bummer. But this thing, do you want my, uh, my tofu? No? Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. You can go ahead and skip. I'm not gonna cut anything. Fuck that shit. I'll be back soon. Stare at this guy. I wanted to press A, but I pressed B. Open up the menu, then I pressed A. Fuck. Uh, but are we done in that place? That's the question. I don't think we are. I, I still want to complete the, the hiding thing. And um, as I said, I think one door per episode is kind of enough. I mean, so far it has been. And we'll do the same for the next episode and then we'll do that marathon. Oh my god, I don't want to though. Okay, so the frame pacing, is it okay now? Yeah, no, now it's okay. I think? You, you know what, at this point, I think it's more annoying of me complaining about it than uh, <laughs> the actual frame pacing issue. So, never mind that. Let's uh, try to find the mirror. And we can listen to 100 Sunny. If that was the name of that track, I, I think so. Also, I would recommend you to not only buy this game, of course, but uh, buy the soundtrack as well. And uh, buy it on Bandcamp, so that um, the creator gets more revenue. And also you can download it in FLAC. So that's my recommendation. We are playing with ourselves in this uh, weird ass... Hey, there's the mirror. I like this guy. Found you! Do you want to play again? Yeah. Is this just a copy and paste from... You know, before, when we were in the playground, in Headspace? I think it is. We can't move this anymore. I want my Aubrey... <laughs> I was about to say wet dream, but yeah, that's kind of what it is, dude. Okay, you wanna play with me? I would like someone to play with. I can't find myself. 
Man, this melody, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, wait, I'm perfect. Woohoo! I'm perfect. Okay. I mean, yeah. Swamp part, or however you want to pronounce that. <sighs> Meow. Okay, so as I said, I am nervous about this uh, recreation leader interview because I, <laughs> of all of the jobs I've ever had in my life, and I have, qu I've had quite a few jobs for my age, and. Um, being a recreation leader was definitely the most fun job I've had. Because you know me by now, especially in terms of this game. Oh. Uh, distorted Aubrey? No, that's more like Mary. Oh. I cling too much to my childhood and I don't find adulthood to be that nice. It has been extremely stressful and traumatic for me, whereas my childhood was the complete opposite. And so I automatically, in my mental health, cling to my yeah, my past and my, my childhood. And so working as a recreation leader, you work with people who are in that age that I was when I, when my life was at its best, at least in a mental state. I think, you know, in terms of if, if physical things, you know, completely physical things, my life right now is very damn good. It's just that mentally it's, it's really damn difficult. And so automatically by working with these younger people, it kind of takes me back to that time and it it helps my mental state. And I find it very enjoyable as well. Because I see, I still see myself as a fucking kid, dude. Or maybe not a kid, but a... You know, I, I play games, I want to be outside and play this song right here. Play hide and seek with my friends. Uh, go roller skating. <sighs> play football, or whatever. All those games you had as a child, just playing around, uh, going down uh, a snowy hill with your pulka, whatever it's called uh, in English. I have actually no idea what it's called uh, when you ride on a piece of, piece of plastic down a snowy hill. Like, what's that sound? Sledding? Snow slide? Whatever. Sledge, snow sledge. Like, I want to do that so much. Why can't we go here? <sighs> so, you understand by this point that th th this game speaks to me on a very, very deep level. So, yeah. I'm hoping for the best. At this point, it's two days until the interview. By the time you see this, maybe. The interview has already been, and then probably by the next episode or the next one after that. Hey, I know what we can do. Uh, after my interview, that's when I can do the Black Space Marathon three hour video. I don't want to build up too much anticipation now, but uh, I mean, why not? This music uh, makes me a bit calm. I can't find myself. I, I literally can't find the last mirror. Is that, is that supposed to be symbolic? Like, we, we can't find ourselves anymore? Hug the left wall? We're gonna do that? It would be right wall from Mori's perspective. There it is! Why didn't I... Maybe I just went in a circle. Found you! Want to play again? I don't think anything is gonna happen, but... Uh... Oh. We're back to this song again. Okay. Yeah. I think we have seen everything we can see here. I'm gonna try this door thingy. Where is it? Man, I am so disoriented in this place. Disorientated. <laughs> I love it. someone pronounced it like that and I can't... Well, I can't cut it anymore. Do I, do I not have the red knife? Okay. Oh, you find a notebook. The same sentence is written over and over. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the cursed voice. I don't know why. I don't feel like it right now. This is the best part. Eyes up here. 
All right then, are we done with this episode? Because that's what I'm leaning towards. That yeah, once we're done with this room, we can, we're done with this uh, part. And it has been like over an hour, so I guess that's fine. Or should we do one more door? Because I can't do my Aubrey wet dream anymore and that makes me really sad. It was a very nice mixture of um, uh, horror, psychological horror and um, comedy. Yeah, okay. I think we'll do one more door. Although I don't know what to talk about at this point. So we could for once focus on the game. <laughs> but f for me personally, talking about my life, when this game connects to me on a, such a deep level, I like it. You know, I like that the concept. Oh, this looks nice. And I like this, uh, this track, although I don't know the name of it. So what does this place symbolize? Big pocket. I'm gonna dance. Do you want to dance? No. Hmm. I don't want to see uh, Omori dance now. No! Don't ruin this for me! Is this the sweetheart song? You didn't know how to do the dance. Well, that basically sums me up. <laughs> I can't dance. And also, working as a recreation leader, it's kind of weird for me in a way, because I'm not that extrovert. And I don't... Um, like, what's the word in English? Um, like, I can't dance. I don't have the confidence of dancing and, uh, and making a fool out of myself uh, just for fun. You hear mom crying softly. There, there, Sonny. We'll protect you. Everything will be okay. Mm hmm. Protect me from myself? I don't think you can do that. Oh? Oh, it's uh, when Sonny hid in the box. That's really cute. Do we have two of these things now? Do we have three of them. Huh, I wonder what the significance is. Oh, Molly! <laughs> Hungry. Please, money. Give $20 to Omoli? Yeah? You didn't have tw $20. <laughs> Hungry, please, money. Okay. So Sunny acted like a cat and wanted money for food. But really wanted the money to buy toys and shit. Oh. But um, when you actually... Oh, look at that. When you... But when I was a recreation leader and... Uh, never mind. Oh, well, if it isn't my old friend. I have the ability to move between places quickly by traveling through toilets. Tag me and I'll show you, Omori. You didn't... You don't know this person. You don't know this person. Okay. Yeah, so when I had that... Um, what? It's it's following me? Hey, tag me in! Oh, I did not mean to do that, but okay. Oh! Okay! What? Money bath! You got $20. Hey, Kel, what's up? Money! I still have my clams, though. I have six twenty dollars. <laughs> like, it's... Okay. Will something happen if I take too much? I think so. Okay, so, when I had my internship as a recreation leader, and I w were in these situations with a lot of people, and they expect me to, you know, be a leader and take care of them, come up with activities and have fun, and... If, if there was any conflicts, I would um, you know, solve it in a professional manner. 
So when I'm actually there in that professional, um, yeah, state, that gives me the confidence to get out of my comfort zone. And that's why I also want to work as a recreation leader to work on, on my self-esteem and my... Yeah, ability to be more extrovert in a way. So yeah, I'm, I'm super nervous for this interview. They only have one... The fuck? They only have one slot uh, open, or you know, one um, place, however you say it. So only one person can get the job. You unlock the door. But wait, I wanted to... No! No! I want to give the $20 to a Molly, please. Go back. Do I want to? I don't want to skip this part. Fuck! Maybe I shouldn't have touched the door. I'm gonna go up here instead. No? Okay. And in this interview, they're probably gonna ask these really difficult questions like, why do you want to be a recreation leader? It, it, tell me about yourself. Like, how do you even begin? Yeah, I'm a super complex, creative, abstract thinker, and I play Omori. No, but... How do you, in a very nice and fluent way, answer a question like that? I do have some ideas, to be honest. I do have some ideas how to answer that question. And it's it's very genuine. It's nothing that I just made up in order to get the job. Like, for example, if they ask me, why do you want to be a recreation leader? Why, why this job? Then, oh! Herosaurus. Do you, do you still accept me? Do you still accept me? Yeah, we kind of saw this in um, Dino Dig, uh, Orange Oasis. I do, Hero Sorrows, but I uh, feel kind of lost as to what you want me to do. Would you, would you like to play? Okay, that was it. Uh, where was I? Yeah, okay, so my idea of answering a question like, uh, why do you want to be a recreation leader? And uh, that is generally because when I was at that, at that age and I went to a recreation place and I had those leaders taking care of me, I found it to be super fun and uh, comforting and wholesome. And my life at that point was very good. And uh, those people who were my leaders, who took care of me, they made a very strong impression on me. And uh, I still remember them to this day. And now I want to be the one who can deliver that same, uh, you know, sentimental value uh, to younger people. And when they grow up, they will remember me as I remembered my leaders. <laughs> it's it re it's really hard for me to put it in into words, but I think you understand. Thanks. Okay. Did he take all of them? No, he did not. We have uh, 64 20 dollars. No, that's good. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? 1280? Yeah, I think it is. Um You know, so I'm a guy who loves um justice and whatever. And when I am in in the power to uphold justice, you know, being a leader, I can get rid of those conflicts when it's unfair or something bad is happening. If I have the power to make things better for everyone, that makes me feel better about myself. And, um, yeah, it, it really speaks to me. Yeah! Now this is a very artifacted uh, JPEG. Crab. <laughs> I can't wait for my tan. Why is this JPEG so fucking artifacted? Whatever you want to call it. It's a palm tree. Yeah. Who drew this? Oh, wowie. Do you want to swim back to mainland? No, I actually like it here. Crab is dying. Oh, shit. It's a palm tree. Yeah, not for long. Crab is dying.
So yeah, what do you have to say about this one? Oh, come on. Is that it? We done here? I want to talk to the Pluto guy. But I can't. Or maybe I have, we have to go around it. Pluto doesn't look like himself. You decided it's better to leave him alone. But I want to help. I want to help out. You want $20? I got 64 of them. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and hug the right wall. Maybe there's something. Oh, yeah, there we go. The faceless are speaking in hushed whispers amongst themselves. Is this how he imagine like grown up people just whispering about shit about him? Even if you hide something, it will always be there. True. I like that the music got much louder here. I saw someone waiting for you. I think you should go see him. Don't leave. I hope you had fun without us. Yeah, maybe. I thought you had left us for your other friends. It is good to have you back. Even if you hide something, it will always be there. Wait, we, we have already looped? Oh, it's super short. Okay, wow. Let's go down. Oh, that's it. It's a very short place. Careful about the railing. How long are you going to keep us locked in here? Huh. You look older, Omori. But not wiser. Mm. Oh yeah, speaking of wiser, you know, I was thinking about this Abby uh, character. The Branch Coral talked about three entities or three, you know, things that created this world. It was the wisest, the oldest and... Oh, fuck, I forgot. But the wisest is probably Abby. And then... Abby offered some kind of kindness to us with the tentacles. Maybe offered to be honest about what happened. You know, go out there and be honest and tell everyone what really happened. But... Sunny didn't want that, or Omori, his alter ego, didn't want that. And so he suppressed Abby into the deepest part, you know, deep well, the deepest part of his subconscious. The part of him that wants to confess, maybe. Do, do the right thing. <sighs> and, and that's why Abby and her tentacles are infecting headspace, you know, that perfect world he wants to live in, where we can just escape everything. It's like, it's, it's infiltrating. It's, it's always there, under, underneath. The truth and the, the will to confess is always there. And it's infecting more and more. I don't know, it's really difficult to talk about and explain it, but I think it has something to do with that. I have to read through that uh, branch coral thing again. So is this it? This is all? Is this everything we can do here? I think so. Why is there a black space right here? That looks so weird. Okay, that's it. Dance boy! Alright. If we are done with this uh, black space door, then that's a very good place to end the episode, I think. And then the next episode we will do boss rush. Check that out. And then we will just continue with black space until there's nothing, you know, new to see. From what I can find. And at that point the series is more or less over. And we will... Move on. Which I really don't want to. But at the same time, we have spent a lot of time on this series. I think, definitely, this is the longest commentary series I've ever done. You know, offline, recording it like this, 
I've never done this much commentary on a game before. And, you know, back before, I did 15 minute parts. And I was almost... Oh yeah, okay. I was... Uh, in the beginning of this series, I made 30 minute parts. And if we would have continued with that, you know, 15 or 30 minute parts, we would have gone so far into, you know, the amount of parts the series has. And so I am happy that we made one hour plus parts. It, it actually fits and... I don't want to clog up my subscription feed too much and my video feed when people check out my channel. So having longer parts uh, really works out. And I'm more and more comfortable doing these whole sessions and just uploading them as is. At the same time, a part of me kind of misses the... Yeah, the time where we made shorter parts, but yeah. It is what it is. I just can't believe it. It's close to being over. It just went so fast. But uh, with that, my friends, I think we're done with Black Space for now. And I will thank you all very, very much for watching. As I said, I'm very nervous about this job interview. Because it's either I start working full time with something I really care about and find interesting. Or I will continue to go unemployed and just stay home all day. So it's a huge uh, contrast between the two. Of course I'm not supposed to give up. If I don't get the job, I have to move on. Uh, hold my head up high. Try to find something else. But I really don't want one of those silly... I mean dead as zombie jobs where you just do the same thing over and over working with inanimate objects every single day 40 hours a week i i really don't want that dude I, I know that you can't be too picky a lot of people are stuck in that in order to make a living but man it's my life and i don't want to live my life like that and i'll do every, everything i can in order to stay away from it i want to work with people i want to work with something that makes it worth my time so that's how it is wish me luck and i will see you in the next part take good care of yourself and i love you all bye for now